Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, USA, and home to the Commodores of Vanderbilt, who hope today they will hit all of the right notes. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Virginia Tech Hokies, taking on a team from the SEC, the Vanderbilt Commodore. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Hokies will boot it away to start the game. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Vanderbilt's offense is on the field for the first time today. And here comes this quarterback when he takes the field. He brings a certain swagger and charisma out there that the entire, not only the entire team, the entire stadium seems to feed off of. You can feel it. It's different. It's special. Uh, guys like this don't come around very often, but the, he makes the whole team better. But the belief is strong because he continues to make plays and be there for his team every time they need. Second and very short here for the offense. Takes a handoff. It's Alexander. A pickup of five marks it at the 36-yard line. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. They're getting this guy lathered up. Turns it on in midfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And already this guy is leaving his mark on this game. Opening drive, back-to-back -back runs where he's found a way to get positive yards. He was able to pick up the first on that last carry. They should keep feeding him the football. The more success they have, it's going to open up the play-action game. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They go to the ground. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short drive. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And that pass picked off. Looking for more room. Inside the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. What a great play by the defense of getting it off with the interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. From inside the 15, here's the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. 
This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Carter. Fires to the middle. Finds a tight end. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. The give out of the gun. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On second down, wants to throw. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. We know this guy's a weapon, not just taking handoffs, but he can catch the ball, too. That play, not so much. Got to do a better job reeling it in. They couldn't connect on second down. Now staring at a third and nine. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the tight end. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Now, a fourth and And the Commodores line up to punt it away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Bringing it back, it's Holloway. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. So Virginia Tech's offense will go to work for the first time today. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this D because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's got it on the right. Nowhere to go and not much to show for that one. I love this defense's ability to fight off blocks and rally to the football. They do such a great job pursuing that wide receiver screen to only allow a minimal gain and no first down. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? He'll keep it himself. Fights off a defender. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. The Hokies have it with a first and 10. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Here's the handoff. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about the defender? A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. It's a draw. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. 
This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And the return man couldn't get to it to make the catch, and the ball will bounce out of bounds. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Virginia Tech is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Going up top on first down. Unloads to the right. Complete downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Makes the grab. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. And a great job by the QB finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. Line gets set, first down. Caught in the backfield at Skinner. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. Well, give the defense credit on that one because they knew coming into this one that they were going to try to get this receiver the ball in a variety of ways. They were ready for the screen there, and they create a negative play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll try the run. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. Looking downfield, it's Carter. Throws to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And they'll send out the field goal unit. He'll try to knock it through from 38 yards out. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. will try to shut him down. He'll bring it out. It's Tootin. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for a gap. It's Tootin. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you can 
continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Oh, he wants it all. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Quarterback could not have walked that ball placed it into the hands of his receiver any better. That was a perfect throw. Wide out, deep downfield. you got to finish the play. And the Hokies will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David. Only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. Right? The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early in this one. They just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. Dances away from one. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. Looking to throw, it's Carter. Forced out of the pocket. Going to try to get it himself. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, they dial up a pass play there on first down, and how about the quarterback there? Buys time, he's outside, he's looking for people to get open on the scramble drill, but there's nothing happening, and it's just a really quick decision to decide to take off and go get another first down now, and they've got the defense on their heels. Give to the running back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance, and, and right here just chews up another first down, gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it, and right now he's doing some damage on this defense. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. That ball hit him right in a bad spot, right in the hands. Really unfortunate he didn't come down with that. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. He's looking downfield to throw. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. And the try is no good. And guys still down by four, still needing a touchdown to take the lead. Seven, three. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. 
So much for firing to a stationary sit-down tight end. How about this guy working the corner and getting the first down? These tight ends can do so much nowadays. You start to feature them, but you watch them on the corner route, man. Just push it vertical, push it to the corner. QB right on the same page with him. Throw the football out there, and he makes the catch. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you could tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. Now on second down after the incompletion. Back to throw. It's Drones. Quickly out to the tight end. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in the zones. you got to get him involved. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Finds his tight end. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. Well, in that down distance, the quarterback's got to get rid of it so quickly, right? He knows the defense is going to be bearing down on him, so a nice job catching the gun snap and then turning and pivoting, getting it out of his hands quickly and accurately to pick up the first. The Hokies will line it up on first and ten. Spits it out to the back. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And he intercepts it! The return never really got started, but boy, he has set his team off at the 28. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with it. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. Scanning the field, it's Carter. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. Finally stopped at the 46 after a 15-yard gain. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Dumps it to the back. That's caught. It's Alexander. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. He wants to throw here on second down. They're trying to... And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. You know, as quarterbacks, you've got to be good in the pocket. Even when things are collapsing and you've got guys swiping at it, you've got to have two hands on the football. Didn't do a really good job with ball security there, and that led to the fumble. And we're about to get another look at this Hokie offense. They're already in field goal range, but Jesse, they want to be aggressive, but they can't take a negative play. Well, the play caller's got to look up and down his sheet here to find... Hit the afterburners, kid. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Hokies. The defense just lost track of him. There's no other explanation. I've got to assume they knew he was in an eligible position. Or it was just ridiculously good scheming on the offense, Reese. I mean, just an unbelievable job of getting your guy wide open.
on to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. And the returner will be dragged down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On the run, it's Alexander. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. That's exactly what you're trying to get accomplished. You've got to make sure on all these runs, clock running down, get out of bounds, right? Get some positive yards and then stop that clock. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. He's looking to throw it. He'll take a shot. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, a stirring start to things today in Nashville as we say hello from our broadcast studios. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at First Bank Stadium. start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. First play from scrimmage, and they'll keep it on the ground. Into a mass of giant bodies, we'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Going to run it. It's Tootin. At the 35, he's open. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. And this is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Holds and fires complete to the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. <laughs> These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Caught over the middle. It's Lane. He stopped at the 45 after picking up 10 yards and the first down. Well, it's a nice-looking throw right there, and I'll tell you what, for Hokie quarterbacks in the past, it's not all about just hurting you with their legs. Michael Vick could kill you throwing the football. Tyrod Taylor could do it. How about this name? Jim Drunkenmilk. You can just see him right now dotting an 18-yard dig route. That's a nice-looking throw. That gives me some Drunken Miller vibes, Molly. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. 
after picking up a couple at second and eight. Leaves it with the running back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. I think he won that play on second down, knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Just a short pass to the tight end. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously, not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this. Way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get them a shot. Looking to throw, it's Drones. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, that's one the offense would love to have back. That's a play they practice over and over and over. They feel like they can run that play in their sleep. Not able to connect there. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw. He looks that one in nicely. They almost got a first down there. Stop the yard short. It'll be third down. Out of offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy step. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. In halftime in this locker room, there was a lot of positive things to talk about. You got the lead, but you know what else will be positive, Palmer? Get the running game going early in this second half. You're absolutely right here, and I think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit. Let these guys take this thing over, be physical, and push this defense around. And there is nowhere to run. They were eager and ready for him this time around. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Can the D deny them on second and goal? Quick strike complete. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. It's important on offense to get the tight ends involved in the passing game. These are big fellas that can run. This guy's a big target, so nice job on that play. Will they be able to get that one more yard and stick it in here on third down? Trying to barge their way in. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Man, if I'm quarterback right now, after this long of a drive down this close, I'm going for a touchdown here. And I get that, but I've worn this defense out, man. I'm going to go for the touchdown right here. And if I miss, they got to go the whole length of the field to score a touchdown. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. After the miss, still an 11-point game, guys. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Vanderbilt has the ball again, and here comes that Commodore offense. A lot of field in front of them as they open this possession from their own 20. Caught behind the line. It's Stowers. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Skinner. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Yeah. 
and the Commodores are in the hurry up. Looking for a man, it's Carter. Gets open down the middle. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. They'll go to the ground. And as they get him to the ground, clock running, looks as if time will expire here in the third. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Virginia Tech is on top. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor, both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Looking to throw for it. Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic and fortunate to get it back. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. Down by multiple possessions, you can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Right down the middle. Got it past the marker. Not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a short thing, an easy conversion for this offense. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. The Commodores are flying down the field. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him. Okay, I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. To the air. It's Carter. Throws to the wideout. And it's picked off at the goal line. That's a way to make a stand. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. They're backed up first and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. Give to the back. Well, they've got the lead. The defense just did their part, getting a takeaway. So now if you're on offense, you want to run the ball and take as much time as possible between snaps. Stay in bounds and let this clock tick away. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back searching for a hole. Pushes forward for a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the eight. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. And here's the pick. And oh, did they need that right now? And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. Look, big time playmakers make big plays in big games. That guy needed to make that interception at this critical juncture of the game. There's still time for them to go out and win it. Could that be the play that sparks this team? First and goal, and this feels like their chance to make a game of it. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Goal. 
Quick pass on the jet motion. Touchdown, Vandy! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. Now, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished. This offense obviously still has work to do, but the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball back. Obvious thinking here. Get the two-point conversion now, and all you'll need is a field goal to tie. Dropping back, it's Carter. There for the two-point conversion, and now they're within a field goal. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. We're about to get another look at this hooky offense. On the run, it's Tootin. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. Late in football games, I have a plan. I want to run the football. I want to put my quarterback in great situations if I do throw it. Low risk, keep that clock moving, get a few first downs. And if I get a few first downs with that clock moving, I get the W and get out of here. Throws to the back. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now. You expect them to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. You just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to get the first through the air. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think this is where coaches really earn their money late in games, right? It's in the fourth quarter. You got the lead. Do you want to stay conservative and run the football? Because I see the defenses. They start to get aggressive, and so sometimes you can take the other hand and take advantage of it. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. They want that clock to run. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. To the air, it's Drones. It's on target and complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. And the Hokies look to keep this drive humming. The give to the back. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. It'll be a draw. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The Hokies will call on their punt team.
And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Vanderbilt has it back and heading out to go on the attack. He's got his man across the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced a punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going. Sprinting to the line to try to get this one off. Clock's running. Back to pass. It's Carter. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Well, no big surprise here in the fourth quarter. The defense expecting pass, and that's why they've got extra DBs on the field. It's almost like a prevent look. Everybody back there staring at the QB. Going to be hard to throw into that. Obviously, the ball falls incomplete. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Livingston. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing strike. Got it in the middle. It's Carey. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage, and as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. And the Commodores want to move quickly. Got to save every precious second, and the spike stops the clock. Second down. And here comes the offense on second down. They'll give it to the back. Finds a crease at the 20. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. And they spike it to get the clock stopped. The air is incomplete. It leads to second down. Line getting set on second down. Hand off from the gun. That'll be a gain of about seven. Leaves him with third and three. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. 